What's going on, Jerome's? One of the best videos of the week because of No Face. Uh, no Face, just like Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. I miss that show. Th that might have been the only show that I've watched week to week. You know, just waiting for every single episode. Actually, no, I lied. Ted Lasso, Yellowstone, and also uh, Mayor of Kingstown looks pretty damn good now. So, I lied. Whatever. Anyways, uh, relatively good news for the Vikings on the injury front. A pretty clean sheet. Uh, only Wyatt Davis is going to be out. He was limited yesterday with a ankle injury. DNP'd on Friday. He's been ruled out. But the Vikings don't play him anyway because they hate fun. Everything. Bashar Breeland uh, listed as questionable with a groin, except he will go against Green Bay. And also with the return of Patrick Peterson pending, that's going to be really big for the Vikings secondary as they take on the Packers. Even though we'll get to Green Bay. They're really dinged up in the wide receiver department, but it's whatever there. Uh, and also, no uh, no shenanigans anymore with the four who missed practice on Wednesday uh, with the false positive. So everything is hunky-dory there. It, it almost seems like things are too good heading into this Packer game. That's when you should worry about things. Packers-wise, so David Bakhtiari out. Aaron Jones out. We knew that going in. Alan Lazard, the Lizard King, is doubtful. Uh, and that's why the uh, the Packers are really going to be hurting in the wide receiver department because also out is Malik Taylor, their backup. MVS is going to be playing, except he was limited two days this week with a hip injury. Also, Devontae Adams was limited on Wednesday with a shoulder, except that's probably just more veteran maintenance. On defense, their leading sacker this year, Rashawn Gary, the pride of Michigan, is questionable with that elbow injury. Even if he plays, uh, I think that's going to impact his level of play precipitously. So we'll see. Also, they're missing Whitney Merciless, who they brought in from the Texans uh, to help out on the edge because they are missing Zadarius. So that's good news for the Vikings all around. Also, defensive lineman uh, Kingsley Kiki is questionable with a concussion. We'll see if he completely clears protocol by Sunday. And, of course... Uh, saving the worst for last, a Aaron Rodgers, who uh, made some news missing practice on Wednesday and Thursday with a supposed toe injury, was limited Friday, and we knew all week that there was zero doubt that he was going to play because uh, it's the Vikings and blah, blah, blah. So bring it on. We want him on the field. Rodgers, Adams, everyone, bring it on. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. The Vikings-Packers final injury report heading into the Sunday showdown. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put that work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.